In this video, you'll see how to use and configure the bar graph and pie chart tab of your WashCap Excel Analyzer, through which you can visualize any of the single or multiple option question results of your WashCap data. This will work for questions that were by default part of the global form, but also for questions you might have added yourself for your specific local needs. We'll look at two scenarios. The easy scenario is the one where you haven't made any structural changes to the global form. The second scenario we will look at is when you have made changes to the global form, such as the adding of completely new questions that were not there by default in the global form, in order to adapt your analysis to your local needs. In the first scenario, there won't be much you'll need to configure and the relevant analysis should be available. This is the configuration tab that is specific to the bar graph and pie chart tabs. So normally everything should work without you needing to modify anything by default. So if you go to the bar graph tab, you should see your question appear. And here in your drop down, you can select whichever question you're interested in. You will notice that if you have very long hints as part of your questions, some of these questions here will not appear properly and you will see hashtag value instead of the full question. This you can correct by going to your survey tab from which these questions are issued and you're going to be able to delete the hint column that you no longer need as this is just your analysis tool and not the actual form that you were using in your data collection. So this hint column that sometimes has a lot of text and therefore makes the questions much longer, you can simply delete, which means that when you go back to your bar graph tab, your questions have been shortened because they don't have the hint information anymore and you will no longer have the hashtag value for some of the questions that were considered too long. Here I can select D5, please name at least three of the most important times that someone should wash their hands, and I have my associated disaggregation variable. Now let's look at the second scenario. If you've added your own questions to the form, you will need to let the tool know how he can identify that he you want to see it in the bar graph or the bar chart tab. For this, you will need, again, to go back to the survey tab where your questions were defined. What you will need to do is search for the analysis column that you will see towards the end of your form. In this analysis column, you see that there are different letters that appear. You can see sometimes a D, a C, a U in particular. And these are the settings that help say whether you will see your data in the bar graph pie chart tabs or if they are disaggregation variables. You will find the specificities of these letters in the WashCap analysis manual, but to give you a very quick overview, if you have a D in the column, it means that this is a disaggregation variable that you will therefore be able to see here in the list. This only works for single option questions of your form, of course. If you have a C in this column, as is the case here, it means that you will be able to see this question in the bar graph tab here in this list. And if you have a U, it means that you will see it in the pie chart tab here. You can modify these according to what your analysis needs are. Usually we have multiple option questions available in the bar graph tab and single option in the pie chart for better readability. You can also set up your form directly before your data collection to ensure that these settings are ready for your analysis. But of course, this should only be the case if you know how an XLS forms work and if you're very well organized. As a summary, this video aimed to show you the different steps to follow to ensure that you visualize in the bar graph and pie chart tabs the questions that you're interested in.